Hello there, lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Almost afternoon here. Time it's around uh, 15 minutes to uh, midday, 12. So I decided to do uh, my review on Amouage. You can see the smile is slowly coming out. It's the fragrance that I wanted for a very long time, uh, since last year, basically. And it's a new, I think, a relatively new release of Amouage. Uh, it's called Royal Tobacco, Opus number 14, I think. So I finally have this perfume and I'm going to do each impression. Um, maybe the video will run a little bit long. Okay, this is one of those special fragrances that show in my journey, piano and collection. Okay, so I'll tell you the story how I met this for the first time and uh, <clears throat> how Amouage is a very impactful house in my journey. And I did review quite a few Amouage in my time. So this is perhaps one of the best, if not the best. Okay, so I will give you my two cents what I smell from this. I'm not going to talk about notes breakdown from Fragrantica today. And uh, let's see if this is uh, like as good as some people claim or I claim, okay, or who is it for longevity, stuff like that. So I bought a test unit, okay, because the retail on these are very expensive, goes up to four, $400 like that, okay. Even after discount, you have to pay around 300 bucks in Bangladesh. So that is not cheap. Back in the days uh, when I started collecting Amouage, Bangladesh, Amouage Creek prices were somewhere like in $150. Even testers could be had for $120, $110, you know, like super, super affordable. So that time we collected a lot of Amouage, like Reflection, Interlude, Jubilation, uh, Epic, Memoir, Journey, <coughs> all those fragrances uh, was the other one. The Lyric Man, Lyric Man was one of my, uh, you know, love it or hate it kind of fragrance. Anyway, so Amouage House was always in my target starting from uh, reflection man reflection man was i still have a bottle of it the bottle basically ran out uh, this one has this much juice left so now they have a lot of new amouage coming out like reflection 45 i think forgot the name more stronger more opulent so these i think are part of the royal tobacco is part of the new collection it comes in a new box and i think perhaps previously it had different bottle i'm not sure and uh, when I got the tester, I got one of those best deals in one of the shops here, Perfume Center. I went there to get one Bulgari perfume. I ended up buying this and a few more. Um, I did not plan to buy this that day because I don't want, didn't want to spend the money. But when I saw the price, it was too good. Um, okay, so that's the story. So when did I see this first? I saw this in last year, one of our retail outlets here. They were bringing this and they have quite a few. I think there's some wood, some spices. They're like a whole line, like four, five, six. This is the one. When I see tobacco, I'm very weak for tobacco and boozy fragrances. When I saw this, they had a tester. I sprayed it. This one and Overture, I tried both of them side by side and I fell in love. I'm going to get Overture as well or Overture, you know, from Amouage, the orange juice, the boozy one. So it blew me away. It totally blew me away. I'm sorry. Some of you may mind this. I'm talking a bit much before starting the review. There's a reason. When I sprayed this, you know, I was mesmerized by like, wow. And the thing is, when you're in the journey for about almost 10 years, you know, like literally like proper journey of fragrances, you will understand complexity of perfumes, what you really like, what you don't like, and you understand the complexity. Uh, this is the kind of fragrance, this is the example. I'm wearing this here. And I saw the price tag, I'm like, oh, 300 bucks, I was not ready to pay for it. So I, following month, I ended up getting my other favorite, which is Boundless, which is a playful cinnamon, like a cardamom, I don't know. Something is in there, very sweet, very lovely. It's like literally like a boozy drink with a tobacco mix. And the cinnamon is so playful. It's literally like a Christmas in a bottle. That cost me under 200 bucks. So I was very happy, but I had in my mind, I'm going to get uh, the Opus 14. Uh, I cannot stop smiling. Okay, so <laughs> Royal Tobacco was always under uh, my watch. So uh, yeah, I got it finally. So basically, let's let's start this. So basically, the packaging of tester not going to look very impressive. It's going to look like this, okay? <clears throat> it's an EDP concentration, made in Oman. Always the best part is made in Oman because made in Oman usually are more, um, how to say, uh, long-lasting. If they make in UK, I don't know. Just give me a second. So sorry about that. Yeah, I <clears throat> need to clear out my throat a little bit. Okay. So I was saying this perfumes like from Amouage, people generally don't buy the made in UK version. Any other Amouage. People tend to buy Oman because Oman is not under regulation. They can utilize all their uh, notes breakdown. They are not, you know, uh, bound to, like, let's say, you cannot use oak moss or, or something, you know, the uh, FF, is it fragrance? Who, who sort of ban it? I forgot. Uh, so in Europe, it's, there, there are rules you can't use, like oak moss and stuff like that. So 
merino one version basically good so uh, the bottle here is drop dead gorgeous okay this is i think the nicest looking bottle from amouage alongside those new amouage bottles amouage 45 reflection the uh, jubilation they look even fantastic uh, they're more regal with that tie here but this one it looks like this whole collection looks like this okay so they have one rose one wood i think harmony something something peppery and this is how that looks at the back okay so i think there is a tester is written there and the cap it's magnetic okay really nice they have this source key gemstones okay so uh this one uh, let's just go one spray and talk about it okay i already have this on my hand right down let's just go one for the uh, review so this one uh, <laughs> i have quite a few fragrances to show you while i describe this the reason i'm not going to fragrantica because i have my own uh, sort of a description and take on this first of all this fragrance you have seen must have seen this one over here this fragrance is when people describe in fragrantica the users they say in general that these are not for beginners these are not blind by worthy these are not fragrances for uh, people who love pleasant easy to understand simple perfumes okay exactly okay exactly and these fragrances if you are in your journey for about a decade four five six years and you understand start understanding why you want to wear something animalic something uh, that smells very different very daring and out of the box not typical versace purum diorum intense like those sweet ones fresh ones no it's just the opposite direction fragrances why do you want to wear them because you start understanding the beauty of fragrances and the complexity and when it says complexity someone commented on fragrance it really caught my mind uh one person's complexity is one person's what the hell <laughs> something like that like people go like uh why why would you even bother wearing this right this is that kind of fragrance so uh, understand first many of you don't know why where like watch the video and you say joy gave 10 out of 10 you don't understand what i said you know you didn't watch this is not for everybody let me talk about some stuff uh, negatives of this this is very potent this is very potent you want to wear this if you know you know like the perfume if you don't know this fragrance and you by mistake sprayed five six times you will have big regrets okay don't do that any amouage don't do that amouage uh, can be really really daring so this is a very daring perfume first thing second thing this is not really a season specific like some of you say like this fragrance perhaps is best for winter yeah i can see that it will be best for winter for performance development you know natural uh, transition from top to you know base notes but i think i can wear this anytime okay i'll come to that so for me you find occasion wherever your mood suggests or occasion you feel like wearing you can wear this no problem it's not a season specific third thing i would say this is very expensive very expensive fragrance do not blind buy this perfume okay because many of the newcomers i see nowadays they think niche is the holy grail everybody wants to buy niche okay and then you go buy a niche and you don't understand the perfume you cannot i always say graduate the school without going for your first second you know third class you know fourth fifth then you go for o levels and a levels you know there is a transition unless you're really brilliant so to understand this kind of fragrances you have to you know uh, go through some other fragrances that are more easy to understand some designer tobacco stuff like that then slowly you understand this so now going to the <clears throat> real stuff when i smell this this one someone described this as no tobacco and it's just a smoky ashtray this is the smell to him okay when i read that at first i was like what is he talking about it's a complex fragrance it has uh, some you know some i saw the depth of notes it has uh, sweetness you know it has uh perhaps oud it has woods it has some florals it has i think uh, some sweet notes like vanilla or something like that at the base so there are a lot of transition but when i smelled it like you that's the ultimate test when you smell it or when on when we when you taste food forget about the food reviews then you know exactly what it tastes like right that's the real test when i smell it for the first time i smell smokes and that point it reminds me of one fragrance that i love a lot which is called interlude man i'm not saying they're the same but m wash is the same house all these fragrances so they do have connection then the apart from the smoke you also smell a little bit of woods okay so that's the second thing i smell okay smoke and woods not wood woods like trees and stuff you know like wooden logs <clears throat> then third thing i'm smelling is some sort of pepper they use some sort of spices here it is spicy it reminds me of memoir man you know the memoir man is about dark incense smoke you know so there and then i also smoke uh, no i don't smoke 
<laughs> I also smell leather. Okay, so these are the first thing that come to my mind. It's a dark beast and something I'm not gonna say Satan would wear, but something like a guy who's a like a bad boy sort of, you know, like leather jackets, Harley Davidson. Okay, so yeah, it, it is like a Harley Davidson sort of a riders, you know, bikers kind of fragrance. Very masculine. This one, I usually say fragrance are open to all, but I suspect women wouldn't want to smell like this unless she is very, you know, powerful and magnetic and masculine. You know, she also wears like a leather jackets and boots and then rides Harley Davidson for them. Yeah, but it's a it's a smell of a man. Okay, truly, uh, there are some fragrances which are very masculine. You know, you smell them and the fragrance. You know, I just see the name. I think they are brothers. Creed's Royal Wood. I wish they could be from the same house. Royal Wood, Royal Tobacco, man should release something like take on uh, tobacco they have tabarom few of the other ones but not really modern tobacco this is uh like modern it fits with a gray suit like this color of suit okay at the same time it perhaps it's not just a sweet um how do i say metrosexual kind of a man it can be a fragrance from past 70s 80s someone may be smelling something like it you know like uh, if you watched the A team, the fall guy, you know, back in the days, right? They could be Hannibal. He could be wearing something like this. Man, such a strong power pack fragrance. But check this out. Oh, I have to, I forgot one, take out one fragrance. Hold on. Sorry, I went off. Uh, actually, I went off for about 10 minutes. I was looking for this bottle. I couldn't find it because I really need to show you all the bottles that I, you know, uh, want to show. So the fragrance I was looking for is this one, <clears throat> Burning Barber Shop by DS and Durga. This one I consider as a masterpiece. I got this. I wanted to get Ember Kiso as well. Uh, these are kind of niche perfumes I love. This is a very smoky, dhoop, you know, incense kind of fragrance. If you like the smoke or incense in that, you will love this, okay? So <clears throat> you already seen some comparisons. And where this one stands, I said recently, you know, this is my number one. This is my number two. But honestly speaking, they're both great, both beautiful. This is more playful, wearable, compliment getter, kind of modern sweet uh this is more like a sweeter variant of tobacco you can consider this if you like fragrance like spice bomb extreme okay or uh bulgari man in black you know normal spice bomb but you would actually like this if you like also a smoke from mason martin margiela replica this is called by the fireplace so these are kind of smoky this is kind of smoky fragrance okay so uh, this is that type of fragrance so you can understand this is a very serious and the most up class i describe this as a japanese don okay and uh like mafia don who is uh, <clears throat> like very serious you know like no smile this basically is a no smile fragrance it is confidence booster it is a confident fragrance it's a mature fragrance and this fragrance is massive longevity crazy really really crazy but for some reason as the time progresses after the dry down starts happening this becomes more wearable at that point you'll feel like i can wear this funny thing is i never really found interlude like many people see interlude is the most wearable animalic i always found that fragrance to be sweetheart you know i love that so coming back to this in the end uh, strong points are this is massively potent so performance is great second thing of the best okay oh before i finish some people say there's no tobacco in this yeah this is more like a ashy tobacco not tobacco leaf not those kind of pure heaven or something like I have where where is my other bottle that yeah this one I didn't show Naxos if you want to go more of your safer uh, tobacco go with that one or boundless those would be good or the other ones I showed you but this is something you should get when you are done with your sweeter tobacco and you want to you know I'm getting one fragrance today I think it's called Warda Sena by Sospiro or Zerjo that is also a rose tobacco mix that one is very daring but yet wearable so this is I am going to the territory where I can tell you I love it. But I suspect many of you who are in the game for just a few months or one or two years, maybe this will not be for you. Okay. So this is a love it or hate it fragrance. Keep it in mind. I give it 10 because I love this. This is just my two, two cents. And this is dream come true fragrance for a reason for me. But look at my journey. It's been one decade almost, right? So yeah, from that perspective, it's 10. But do not blind by this. Test it. See the dry down and Keep testing it if you have a sample or you can keep testing it if you get the fragrance then understand the fragrance then get it okay that's my uh suggestion amazing perfume like one of the best creations ever from amwash my currently my number one amwash followed by boundless have a nice thanks for watching let's do a list then we'll 
upload this. Take care.